this International Women's Day in 2024, my message to the women in Gaza and Palestine is that my heart breaks. I feel helpless and powerless to what my heart would want to have happen. I'm sorry to all of my sisters in Palestine that we have terribly failed. We have collectively failed. Right now, approximately 9,000 Palestinian women have been murdered on our dime and on our watch. 2,100 are still under the rubble, presumed murdered. So that's almost 11,000 women. That's aside from the fact that Israel is murdering 37 mothers a day. Israel is murdering 63 women a day on average. Women are the, are the leaders of the family and so many cry out without, without their mother, without anyone uh, around uh, to, to find them until after death in the rubble. It's hard to think of anything but the women in Gaza. When I take a drink of water, I think of the women in Gaza. When I eat a meal, I think of the women in Gaza. When I go to bed in a warm bed with a roof over my head, I think about the women in Gaza because um, my taxes are paying to kill them and their families. We stand with you. Your strength is inspirational. Our heart breaks for you. Moms and sisters and grandmothers in Gaza, we are with you. I am. The people I represent are. I hope this ends really soon and I love you. And just know that the people are with you. We are fighting for you every day. I promise to keep going every single day in the halls of Congress, on the streets, wherever we can. Most of the American people are with you. We're doing everything we can. We won't stop until we, until we make a, big, a difference, until we stop the genocide. Palestine is a feminist issue. And our, our, our fights are connected from D.C. to Palestine. No more money to Israel! No more money to Israel!